It would be extremely hard to go from all of that to salads and tuna fish. All right, guys, we're going controversial today because I'm going to talk about how I was able to lose weight and still eat fast food. My name's Dave. I'm 45 years old, and I was able to lose 202 pounds in 23 months. But most significantly, I was able to lose 164 of those pounds in one year after choosing a ketogenic diet. As stated in previous videos, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a nutritionist, and I'm not a health coach, I'm not a fitness coach. I'm simply sharing my own personal experience with the hope that someone may find value in it or get a little inspiration from it. Guys, I was a fast food junkie. I was eating fast food at least two times a day, some days up to three times, which led me to a life of obesity where I was finding it hard to move. I couldn't even go to a restaurant and fit in a booth. I was wearing five XL shirts and size 50 pants. I was miserable. A lot of people around me were telling me that being overweight was just a part of getting older. It was too hard to lose weight at my age, and I should just be comfortable with the body that I had. This mindset did not sit well with me, and I thought I could do better. I wanted to do better. And finally, something inside me decided to block out all that outside noise and focus on doing something about it. This brings us to January of 2021. At the age of 43, I was weighing in at an embarrassing, humiliating 387 pounds. Disgusted with myself, but desperate to do something about it, I started brainstorming on what I could do to try to start losing weight. In my early 30s, I was really into cycling and fitness, and I really wanted to get back into that. But I knew 2021 was going to be a really busy year for me, and I wasn't going to have the time to start focusing on cycling and fitness probably until late 2021, like around August. But I didn't want to wait eight months to try to do something. So I came up with a strategy that I thought might help get me moving in the right direction until I could start really focusing on fitness in August. At this time, I was eating fast food every day for breakfast and lunch. For dinner, I would either cook a really large meal or I would end up at another fast food restaurant for dinner or sometimes I would get takeout from a sit-down restaurant. And to be honest, I was not in the right mindset to actually start trying a diet. Starving myself, eating salads and low-fat foods just did not sound appealing to me at all, especially when I was already comfortable to eating so much fast food. So I really felt like I still needed to eat the kind of food that I liked. But what could I do? My typical day up to this point would look like this. Breakfast. Two breakfast burritos, a large hash brown, large unsweet iced tea from Chick-fil-A. Or if I went to McDonald's, it was three sausage egg McMuffins with cheese, plus a hash brown, plus a large unsweet iced tea. Lunch, if I went to a place like Wendy's, it was a Dave's triple, no mayo, no pickle, large sized with an unsweet iced tea. If I went to some place like McDonald's, it was four McDoubles, no pickles, with a large fry, sometimes two large fries, and a large unsweet iced tea. If I went to Taco Bell, it was four crunchy tacos, three spicy bean burritos, and a large Mountain Dew, because their unsweet tea is nasty. If I went to Chick-fil-A, it was a number three 12 count, large size with an unsweet iced tea and an extra 12 count entree and lots of Polynesian dipping sauce. For dinner, if I chose to go to fast food, it would just be another variation of what I would eat for lunch. If I was cooking, for example, it would look like this, a giant plate of nachos. And when I say a giant plate of nachos, I would take a whole bag of Tostitos, dump it out on a serving platter, cover it with taco meat and cheese and eat it all, including a jar of salsa. If I was making spaghetti, I would have two to three heaping platefuls of spaghetti with garlic bread. Or if it was a pizza night at our house, which was every Friday night, I would order two large pizzas, one for the fam, one large pizza just for me. It would be extremely hard to go from all of that to salads and tuna fish. I came to terms with the fact that I was eating a massive amount of calories in any given day. I also understood that when it came to weight loss, reducing calories is the name of the game. So I thought, well, if I'm not gonna change what I'm eating, maybe I can change how much of it I'm eating. So as crazy and ridiculous as this is about to sound, this is what I decided to do. I was going to eliminate lunch. I was only going to be eating breakfast and then dinner. I figured at least this way, I would be eliminating a major source of calories and therefore reducing my overall daily caloric intake. Now I was still gonna eat whatever I wanted for breakfast and whatever I wanted for dinner, but I thought this might be the one thing that could help get me going in the right direction. And my thought was I was gonna do this every day for the next eight months until I could start focusing on fitness. With that said, from January of 2021 to August of 2021, 
I was able to maintain that strategy of two meals a day and I was able to lose 27 pounds over the course of that time. Now let's be real, losing 27 pounds over eight months is nothing to get super excited about. But realizing I was able to stay disciplined and I was able to lose 27 pounds, that really gave me the motivation and momentum that I needed to start the next step in my journey. That next step was focusing on fitness and committing to a ketogenic diet. And this is when the weight loss really accelerated. In this video, I kind of wanted to give you an idea of how I kind of weaned myself off fast food. Do I still eat fast food? Yes. Do I eat it as much? No. But that's one of the things I like about the keto diet is because you are able to utilize fast food and those types of food sometimes within the diet and you're not breaking from your diet. Most importantly, guys, I want you to brainstorm. Brainstorm what you can do. Sometimes it takes just a small change, just like that, just saying, I'm not gonna eat lunch. Or maybe it was, I'm gonna eat three meals a day, but I'm gonna reduce the amount of food that I eat those three meals a day. That could have worked too. I just wanna start getting you thinking about little things, little changes that you can make that will make a big change over time. Because I know some of you are stuck in a rut. I was stuck in a rut. For seven years, I battled trying to get started. And I wish I would have made some small changes a long time ago instead of fighting it. You don't have to do exactly what I did. What I did may not work for everyone, but hopefully maybe you can come up with your own strategy. If anybody out there has any questions, be sure to ask. I will answer all the questions that I can because I truly do wanna help other people who are out there like me that were silently suffering. I want to get you motivated. You can do it. If I can do it, you can do it. I'm nobody special. I'm just a regular guy. One big key is stop listening to negative people. Start surrounding yourself with people who want to support you on this journey. Start surrounding yourself with people who are positive and motivating. Even if that has to be virtually, there's plenty of awesome motivational people on Instagram and on YouTube. You can find inspiration in those places. I know I did. Guys, be sure to check out all the links in the description below. I always have extra information in there. Now, I'm going to get more in depth into the keto diet and my strategy around the keto diet in future videos. I'm also going to share my fitness level, where I was at when I started, where I was at throughout the process, where I'm at now in future videos. Be sure to smash that subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you get notified when I upload a new video. If you found value in this video, please like the video. If you think someone else could find value in this video, then please share this video. Hope you all have a great week. Keep grinding. Fat guy out. Peace.